Hello everybody, my name is Spellslinger, and thank you so much for tuning in to this first episode of a brand new series on my channel, which is yet unnamed, but the basic premise of this uh, of this series is to take a deck that I have never played before, I don't know the combos, I don't know what it's supposed to end on, I know virtually nothing about this deck, and we're going to be taking this deck into 10 ranked duels on the ranked ladder, and we're going to see how we do. I am very excited to be jumping into this, and in this first episode, we are going to be doing Brave Prank Kids. Prank Kids is a deck that requires a lot of well-thought-out technical play, and since I have no idea how these work, it's going to be a clusterfuck of misplays, bad chains, and everything like that. But this deck is so powerful that it should be able to just stand on its own with the Brave Engine as well as just the vast variety of hand traps and the DPE package. We're also playing the Nemesis Corridor to facilitate our Thunder Dragon Colossus. But as far as the Prank Kids combos, I have absolutely no idea how these work. So we're going to jump into 10 ranked matches and see what happens. I'm going to set a goal for this video to come out with, let's say six wins. I'm going to say six wins, get a majority of the wins under our belt, and we'll see what happens. So yeah, let's go ahead and just jump into some of these ranked duels. Thankfully winning the coin toss on our first match. That should set us up right. Now let's just see how this deck does. Like I was saying, I'm pretty sure that the Brave Engine and the DPE package should be enough to win some of these games on their own, but we'll see how I fare going through all of the Prank Kids lines, and we have a lot of good stuff to work with here. We're going to go ahead and get our Water Enchantress uh, effect. Let's go ahead and add ourselves a copy of... Add ourselves a copy of the Ride of Aramisir. Um, and then from there, of course, we can go ahead and get our adventure token. Should have put that in defense. Already the first misplay of the game. All right, so we're going to go ahead and activate Fateful Adventure from the deck. And from here, yeah, let's go ahead and just get our, and they scoop. So for, for games like this where they go ahead and just scoop, I'm not going to count that as one of the games. We're going to play out the, these 10 games till the very end. And as you can see, we are starting out in uh, in Platinum rank, which, you know, isn't the highest, but, you know, it, I'm kind of just going with the flow with these videos and wherever I am in the rankings as far as the ranked ladder goes um, at the time of making these videos. We're just going to go ahead and uh, just leave it where, you know, as is. Probably going to set a baseline for at least uh, at le to at least be in um, in Platinum, but, you know, we'll see. Set one. And end. Okay, well, uh, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. Our Prank Kids combos. Now, I know the basic gist of Prank Kids. Uh... <laughs> Never mind, I guess. <laughs> so that's two surrenders on, uh, on that. So we'll just go ahead and get into the next one. All right. Going first in this one. Hopefully they don't quit as soon as they see the Brave package or anything that's, you know, remotely competent. Hopefully we can get our first actual gameplay or our first actual uh, match here. Okay, you know, this is not bad. And, you know, activate Water Enchantress. <laughs> That's three rage quits in a row off of just Enchantress and, Br and the Prank Kids lines. <laughs> All right. Hopefully the fourth one will treat us a little better. Once again, going to be able to go first, and we'll see what we can get going here. Again, I'm just hoping for not another disconnect at this point. Um, I'll take all the I'll take all the free wins, of course, but I'm really hoping that we can actually get a, a decent match together with this. All right, so going first, we have uh, <laughs> three hand traps and two names. So let's see what we can get going here. So we're going to normal summon out the Roxies and then go into the Meow Meow. Meow Meow is here. So then I believe what we can do, Roxies is the effect where you can banish one from your hand and then draw a card and then you'll be able to special summon from the 
deck, I believe. Let's go ahead and get rid of this Maxi to be able to draw one. Drew the Celestial. That's okay. And then, yeah, we can special summon out a another one. If it'll let me. Here we go. And then, I think the play here is Doodle. And then Doodle can add us a uh, the the spell card, and we can also get another name from the Dropsies effect, as well as I believe that Dropsies is the one that allows us to gain the thousand life points. Yeah, that's right. And then from here, yeah, Doodle Doo is going to be able to chain block, which is pretty nice. Um, so the Doodle Doo is going to be getting us, I think it is the, the pranks. Yeah, so we're going to add the pranks to hand. And then the one little thing that I know from this deck um, is that off of the Foolish Burial effect, I believe you're supposed to uh, send... Uh, what am I thinking of here? No, I'm thinking of Fanzies is the one that, that gives you a Foolish Burial. That's my bad. Anyway, so from here, this this one here you probably shouldn't activate now. Um, but what I have seen people do is they can go into a second copy of Doodle Doo. And then they can get out the third name as well as get the Fanzies effect if they haven't already. Which I don't know like the the actual like the best way to get everything into the graveyard. But I believe what you're supposed to do, you're supposed to send the Pandemonium. And then we can special out... Um, I think, yeah, we'll go ahead and get the fire one out because we haven't done the fire one quite yet. And then from here, I believe it's just, uh, pranks. Um, and then the doodle do effect to tribute itself. Oh my God. <laughs> I might, I honestly might just have to keep... Like, I might just have to be at the top of the, like, the top of the ranks. Like, I might, might just have to be in Diamond to play these because I don't know that people are going to really stick around very much for the, <laughs> for this, uh, for this deck and this challenge. 10 may, might be a little bit too hard, but it is just the first episode. We'll see how things continue and we are going to be able to go first. And again, okay. So you know what's funny? Thunder Dragon Fusion was in a lot of the builds that I saw. I have absolutely no idea what you're supposed to be able to do with it, though. I think it's probably just another way to go into uh, into Battle Butler, I assume. But I don't know what the actual like w reason for playing that is. All right, so Gamma is going to be used on our Water Enchantress. And honestly, do I Ash this? Because Gamma is not once per turn... Um, yeah, I'm going to ash this just so we can get at least get our rights onto the field so we can get, you know, the Draco back and everything into circulation. So I'm going to go ahead and grab a copy of the of rights. We're going to activate rights to get our adventure token and then we'll be able to set the fateful adventure from our deck. Griffin Rider. We're going to discard the... Pandemonium because we'll be able to add that back at a later time. We're not going to summon out the Griffin Rider because it will just be negated. So what we are going to do though, well, let's go ahead and normal summon this Fanzies and we'll see if we can get our Prank Kids engine into 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 circulation. So not going to be activating that. We're just going to be equipping the Adventure Token with the Draco back. And then hopefully from here, we'll just be able to go into our Prank Kids lineup and I believe that the yeah, see the thing here with gamma if we don't chain the griffin rider right now then they're good, just going to be able to gamma this in the graveyard which I guess wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if they don't oh, they're just going to go ahead and allow that that's totally fine we'll definitely take advantage of that so I think honestly what I want to do now is to be able to get that additional draw so we're going to go ahead and uh, link these two away for the doodle do and I wanted to get the Roxies into circulation as uh, quickly as possible uh, like I said just so I can get that extra draw the Roxies chain to the doodle do let's see if we can get something cooking here taking a long time to think about this one let's see what they end up wanting to do here oh they have the imperm in hand okay um that's okay 
but everything else will go through. So Roxy's will go ahead and discard the Thunder Dragon Fusion to be able to draw us an Ash, which is nice. And then we'll special summon out, let's say, uh, let's go for a Dropsies here. All right, and the cool thing about this again is that we can go into another copy of Doodle Doo to get more of our prank kids' names into rotation here, which will be nice. So we're gonna be able to, we'll go Dropsies. Let's just go for a, ah, that's tough. Um, let's go for a Bow Wow Bark. Go for Bow Wow Bark and we'll go for the Lampsies which hopefully they will not negate and they will not. So we're gonna do 500 and then we'll be able to get out a copy of the, let's just go for Dropsies. And then I guess we'll end it here um, cause we'll, we'll go ahead and get the Griffin Rider out as soon as they uh, decide that they wanna commit to something on the, on the board, but it'll be okay. I'm feeling pretty good. All right, so Alter guys, let's see. We'll go ahead and go for the Bow Wow here on Summon, and we'll use the effect of the Meow Meow Moo here, uh, banishing itself. Uh, yeah, so we can use the effect, and we'll go be uh, we'll be able to just go ahead and add back the Pandemonium as well as a copy of Let's go for Fansies. And now that they've committed to something, I'm feeling better about uh, getting the Wandering Griffin Rider back out, and we'll see what we can do after that. So they're gonna go ahead and go for the Pukeri. This dude has been sitting here for so long. My guy, please make a move. I feel like he's going to time out here pretty soon. He's been sitting here for a couple minutes by now. This is interesting. I'm thinking that the game might be bugged or something because this has been going on for a good, like, seven or eight minutes without him making a move at all um so i think it might be bugged all right guys it's been like i'm I, it's been upwards of like 10 to 12 minutes i'm calling it here um just so we can get out and on to the next ones unfortunately i you know I, I feel like we were in a pretty good spot to win that um they were gonna link into the uh the link to alter guys monster and then go from there but um i think we probably would have been okay with that one i'm gonna go ahead and count that one as a win um just because i really want to get this thing going and this is our fifth match where we actually had something so um we'll go ahead and get into this second one starting off really good with our first w um we'll see if we can keep it going from there and we are going first so we'll see what we can accomplish here okay um oh boy okay so what we are going to do here um couple different things definitely have the corridor a couple hand traps and let's uh let's just go ahead and go into our, our prank kids line go into our prank kids lines gonna get roxy so we can get the banish so we can get nemesis corridor out so we can get our thunder dragon colossus and we will go from there hopefully they do not have the ash so we're gonna be able to go ahead and get ourselves out the roxy's excellent all right um let's go for the doodle do one Roxy's two doodle do because we want that extra draw. Add the pranks. Um, and then Roxy's. Oh, we gotta discard something. I'm thinking that we'll just do. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of the imperm. We'll get another draw. Hopefully that'll replace it. Not the dropsies. That's okay. So we're gonna special summon out. Let's go for the fansies. Oh, it has to be a freaking monster. I'm so dumb. God damn it. <laughs> uh, first big misplays. You can tell how much I've, I've practiced this deck. Oh, God. That's awesome. Good job, me. Great. That's okay. That's what this whole series is about. Misplaying and doing everything in our power to uh, make it so we can keep playing. So, <laughs> fansies will go ahead and foolish the copy of the pandemonium and then we'll special out a copy of fansies awesome um and then what we can do now i think we'll go ahead and go for the doodle doos pandemonium as well as let's add back the fansies and now we can go for the pranks 
And then we can go for the second doodle do. Um, or no, yeah, it would have to be the Bow Wow Bark because we already went into the second one. So we're going to go ahead and go for the Bow Wow Bark. And we'll be able to get, let's go for, uh, we already have one there. So it'll have to be very stupid. We weren't able to get the Nemesis Corridor or the Gr Wandering Griffin Rider. But like I said, that's really what this, uh, what this series is going to be about. So we'll go ahead and uh, just pass it here. Go ahead. Yeah, sure. Why not? We'll activate the effect of the pranks. We'll shuffle back the, uh, the doodle doos. Reinforcement of the army, Duh, do I let this go through? Let's see. Actually, you know what? We'll go ahead and just activate the Bow Wow Bark now um, because I do want to uh, allow them, I, I wanna know what they're playing before I commit to anything and I have such a hard time with uh, with stuff like that. So, okay, we have fansies, so we need the lampsies as well as the dropsies is gonna be returned to our hand. What the fuck was that? Infernobles. Okay, interesting. Um, you know what? Yeah, we'll go ahead and go for Pandemonium now just so we can get Battle Butler on the field. And we'll just go for uh, Battle Butler. Nice. First summon of the episode. Nice. And then all of these will be able to activate in suits, which is very nice. Looking pretty decent here i'd say we got a board wipe and an ash on our opponent's turn and we could have had so much more with the nemesis corridor uh imperm on the battle butler unfortunate that's okay oh uh, neospace connector okay yeah unfortunately that is what it will have to be uh fire flint lady that's that's nah, okay. I think it just special summoned itself. You can special summon it from. Yeah, okay. And you know what? For shits and giggles, we'll just battle Butler here. That was a mechanic that I was unfamiliar with. If it's negated on the field and you send it and you tribute it for cost, it's, I guess it still would be an effect that you activated on the field. So that's that's totally fine. All right. As long as they don't kill us this turn, we'll be okay. We can uh, use Nemesis Corridor and we can get Wandering Griffin Rider out. So we'll be okay as long as they don't have enough juice to kill us this turn. And I guess that'll be that. I'm counting that one as a win as well. So we'll hop into game three, two for two so far. I freaking love the instant fusion noodle, mate. It's awesome. All right, so go in second. Okay, uh, two names called by the grave to insulate for next turn and one interruption for our opponent right now. Let's see what they're on. And they're just gonna pass. Okay, let's see if I can uh, see if I can OTK. I assume that that means that they probably have a like a shit ton of. Uh, of interruption um, but we'll go ahead and add let's go for the roxies see if we can dig a little deeper so meow meow i gotta tell you i um i've not, i never really liked prank kids all that much um we'll go ahead and banish the lampsies to get our additional draw but honestly i gotta say that i i've never i never really appreciated um prank kids like as a deck you're just like as an archetype all that much because i don't know it might just be like the aesthetic of the deck and like the, the super like corny cartoony um art style of it but like i don't know i the the archetype's kind of just been confusing to me but then again i've never done the research on it and stuff like that so it's a good way to good way to learn i suppose dodo add the pranks fanzies let's grab we send Pandemonium, that's right. And then we can special Dropsies, I think is the one we want now. Um, let's go for the second copy of Dodo. Go for Dropsies here. We'll just go for Bow Wow here. Our last one here, which will be the last copy of Fanzies, which is very nice. 
Yeah, we'll activate the pranks here, um, and I suppose that... You know what I'm wondering? Um, because I know that... I pretty sure that that doodle do has an effect that would allow me to get um some names back on my turn you can use each effect so yeah i totally could have could have done that unless the meow meow says that i can't use it you can only use this effect once per turn if a rank of monsters uh, during the opponent's turn so no okay i cannot do that that's okay so from here i think we'll just go ahead and set the imperm as well as the called by the grave we'll go ahead and set that as well go end phase use the effect of the prank kids place to shuffle back some of the uh the doodle doos oh shoot they do have the the nibiru for us that stinks um let's see I'm going to I'm going to high roll this. We'll see if we can get this uh get this to go through. Because on the upside, we can get um oh they they freaking have the gamma. That's okay. All right, Nibiru will tribute the board. That is very unfortunate, um but we have a couple of interruptions as well as an extra draw off of pranks, so we'll see what we can do. Yes, we will be continuing the main phase. And actually, you know what we can you know what we can actually do here, I think is we can go for um I believe there there should be a two it has to be two effect monsters. Okay. Um and we already used the effect of the dropsies, so I actually don't think that we actually no, we can. Holy shit. Okay, easy. Um, and then uh, just backup is going to be DPE, so we can go for Link Spider. We'll activate the effect of the prank still in the main phase, and we'll discard the Dropsies to go for the uh, token. And then we play the two Link Spider. Yeah. Easy. Um, so we can go two Link Spider into our copy of good old Verte Anaconda. And it is that easy to play through Nibiru. <laughs> okay, I, I understand the uh, the Thunder Dragon fusion now. It's, uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> All right, good stuff. Playing through Nibiru. Um, and we're looking pretty good. That's three, uh, three wins so far. So, um, yeah, three... Uh, seven more to go. Um, we're halfway to our goal of getting uh, getting six wins. Getting into game number four, and we are going to be going second. And this hand is really weird. There is nothing that resembles a Prank Kids engine in here. We have all three of our super cheesy ones, but that's okay. Uh, toy Vendor, that's fine. Playing Fluffles, so we'll be able to get a lot of uh, advantage out of this Max C if they don't have uh, like Gamma or Ash. Then if it is a Fluffle card, you can special summon another way. That's uh, we'll let that go. Hopefully we can get them to play to commit a little further before we go for the Max C. That's fine. They're just adding to hand. That would have been inc an incredible Ash right there. Okay, and they're just gonna can keep on going. Toy Vendor, you can add an Edge Jump. They're just doing a lot of just setup. It looks like so they're gonna be just adding a lot more cards. They set one, another Toy Vendor. That is fine, and it is a it is a Fluffle. All right. So they're gonna sell so a penguin. This is where we this is where we max C right here. And they're just gonna pass. Alright, also awesome. let's go for Brave Engine first. Go through the motions here for Faithful Adventure, and they are just gonna scoop that one max C really did them in. So we are four for four right now. Let's get into game five. Going first, that is what I like to see. Definitely workable. Um, got the Fateful Adventure, unfortunately. Um, um, we'll go Fateful Adventure here. I do have the Ash. That's totally fine. Totally fine. We can you let them use the Ash on the Unfinished Adventure. Uh, or the Unfinished Brave Engine, and then we can just uh, normal summon fanzies and get off to the races with our prank kids lineup and i'm pretty sure that i could have used that to chain block but you know whatever um like i said it's all part of the series i'm getting a better grasp on how the deck plays um and everything like that but um we'll see if we we'll, 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 we'll just see if i'm able to um able to make things work because they don't have the ash anymore and honestly i think 
Um, what do we want to send to the graveyard? We'll send a... Uh, we'll send Dropsies. We'll send Dropsies to the graveyard. And then I want to... Let's let's go for a... Uh, let's go for a Roxies. Um, and from here, what I would like to do... We can go into the Doodle Do. Because I do want that additional draw. And hopefully I can be able to get just another part of our engine going. Because things are looking a little dire right now. Um, what do I want? I want the pranks to my hand, and I want to use the effect of Roxy's, and let's get rid of... I'll get rid of Draco back, as it serves no purpose right now. Nemesis Corridor. Okay, awesome. That That, that is um, actually exactly what I wanted to happen, so that's perfect. I'm going to go for the second Doodle do. Yeah, we'll go Bow Wow Bark. Go for fanzies, um, activate the pranks. Ah, uh, shouldn't have been so greedy with the with the Draco back, I suppose. The corridor is offline at the moment, so we're gonna go ahead and um, just set two. Yeah, I completely messed this turn up. I, I don't know what, uh, that's tough. Um, and since I have no idea what's happening right now, I am just gonna go for the safe play for Verte. And we'll just get DPE and call it call it good from the, from there. DPE and pass. So uh, four interruptions, two imperm, uh, and the ash. It should be fine. We'll go end phase. Activate the effect of the pranks, and we'll shuffle some names back. We'll go bow wow, doodle do, and the other doodle do. Oh gosh, it's uh games like this that are that really really just shows me how little I know about this deck as I completely got myself turned around there. Luckily, we have a lot of interruption for our opponent, um, but we'll. <laughs> I have a feeling that that turn could have ended a lot differently. Go for the burial. You know what? We have a lot of interruption here, so I'm going to go ahead and just ash the foolish burial. I don't want them to get their engine online if they do, in fact, have something. Oh, they do have the call by the grave. That's totally fine. Um, we still have three more interruptions. And that just means that they won't be able to ash us uh, next turn. Sending Necro World Banshee, that's okay. Um, uh, Necro World Banshee, gonna go ahead and do that. That's that's fine. Um, they're gonna get, they're gonna activate Zombie World directly from the deck, which is just gonna make everything zombie. I don't think that that's gonna affect us too much, which is nice. So we'll just see what uh, what else they end up doing here. What is this? I have no idea what the hell this is. You can trip a zombie monster, special summon a zombie tuner with zero defense from your. Uh, that is fine. On summon, we'll go ahead and activate the imperm here so they won't be able to go into their plays. Cross out designator, huh? Okay. Um, honestly, I think here we're just going to go ahead and chain the destroyer. Yeah, we'll get rid of... Um, yeah, we'll target the Imperm that's already going, and we can destroy the uh, this guy before it has a chance to be able to activate its effect. That's totally fine. And yeah, that'll that'll just about do it. I had a feeling that this would be too much interruption for him, and I was right. So that is our fifth game down. We're only one away from our uh, from our goal. All right, and with that win, we are up to uh, platinum tier two. Um, I'm only constituting it as a win if there is a little bit of interaction and not just them scooping as soon as they see like the Brave Engine or like DPE or something like that. So if you if you are curious, that is how I'm constituting it. All right, so our opponent is going to be setting four. You're gonna go for the fifth. Oh, card of demise. All right. Oh shit. Um. Is this Draco? Yes, it is. All right, I think we might have an actual game on our hands now. We have, we have disciples, and they will summon a true Draco. The Majesty Maiden, that's fine. Let's just gonna add them a, got a heritage. They're just gonna, I think, just draw one, right? Yep. And they still are under card of demise. They have, oh shit, okay. Okay, that's fine. All right, um, 
let's see what we can get going here. So, Water Enchantress and the rights. Um, <laughs> that's okay. Um, let's see, we'll go for right here. Should be okay. And Majesty Maiden. That's okay. All right, they're going to grab the Dynamite Knight. That's totally fine. And we'll grab our token and we'll place our Fateful Adventure. I think all monsters sent to the graveyard are banished instead. So honestly, I think what we can do here, we'll go Fateful Adventure. Um, and hopefully they don't have anything for us here. But my hope here is that I can we can uh, bounce domain um, and then go into a Colossus. Um, Let's add the Griffin Rider. And then we can discard Water Enchantress, which will go to the which will go to the banished. Um, and then from there, what we can do, we're gonna go ahead and activate Wandering Griffin Rider. Wandering Griffin Rider sh uh, maybe should have put that in defense. That's okay. We're but we're gonna go for the Fateful Adventure. No. Grab it, grab the Draco back, which we can equip to the token. And then from here, is it card or monster? You can target one card your opponent controls. Awesome. Okay, well, so we'll go Draco back um, and return domain. Excellent. Just what I wanted to see. So now what we can do is we can go for, uh, we'll go for the Nemesis Corridor here now. Get the uh, get that one back and what the hell is this waterfall? Uh, add with worms. Any draw the number of cards? That's fine, I suppose. You know what? Fine. We'll let this go. Just because I am scared of like a skill drain or something else here, so that's fine. And they're gonna add it. That's okay. Um, so we'll go face up here. And just like that, we can get out our Colossus. And then we'll go Foolish Burial. You can send Celestial, I suppose. Um, yeah, we could go for Celestial to get our to get an additional two draws, but I'm kind of concerned. Uh, that's tough. Um, yeah, you know what? I'm going. I'm. <laughs> oh, I'm such a dumbass. I forgot about the fucking DeFi. Good job. All right, that's uh, that's fine. We'll just go battle phase. Have uh, have the Colossalus get over, or the Colossus get over. Majesty made it, and we'll get in for four thousand. And that should do a decent amount. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and set our Called by the Grave. We have an Omni Negate as well as the Colossus up. So hopefully if they try to get anything done here, I mean, they could just crash. Um, it's okay. Um, I, they'll probably be able to get over the Griffin Rider, but that's um, that's that's okay. Um, Listen from the field. Oh, shoot. Um... You know what? I'm gonna high roll this and just hope that they don't have anything else that they contribute summon. This is definitely the more risky play here, but I'm hoping that they just don't have a way to tribute summon. Like these are just all dead or something like that. Um, fine. We have Draco back and we have called by Thunder Dragon, and uh, they do have. Oh right, of course. I am just. Making a fool of myself right now, it looks like. So they're gonna go for card of demise. So I know that they have the um the 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 third of the true Draco monsters in their hand right now, and they're gonna activate the heritage again. Attack into the Colossus. Um I mean unless they have a battle trick here. Hold on. Am I missing so? Oh, it's the freaking domain. Damn it. Okay. Forgot about the domain. That's okay. This doesn't really do anything for us, unfortunately. Yeah, this is tough. I think we're just going to have to go for... Um, we're going to go for Draco back. Not a whole lot that we can 
really do here unless we wanted to go for like a DPE line, I suppose would be really our only option here. Um, and we will absolutely be ashing this. That's fine. One face of slide trap on the field. Okay, that's fine. Um, unfortunately, though, after this, there's not a whole lot else we can do. We could get. Um, we can't get water enchantress, and unfortunately, I mean, we can. Yeah, we'll add the Draco back. Um, and we'll just change this to defense because unfortunately, I think that's all we're really going to be able to do. That's it. All right, we'll uh, pass it back. Yep, that'll just about do it. I mean, if we don't have a, I, we, I just uh, we need a prank kids name here. We haven't seen any prank kids all game, and no, that is so unfortunate. Um, shoot. Um, okay, let's go for. We can go for right to get us another uh, another token just to protect, but that's so unfortunate. And they have the judgment for us. That sucks. Yeah, you know, I we'll, we'll just pass. I have a duality. That's okay. I have emptiness. Presumably they just set the 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 emptiness and the god we cannot draw an engine piece. What is going on here? Alright, we'll go water enchantress. And we can get an Aramisir back from the graveyard, but it's really not gonna do us a whole a lot of good here because they have the uh, the uh, the emptiness. Yeah. Unfortunate. All right, yeah, we'll just uh, set the imperm and, uh, and pass it back. Things are not looking super great for us right now. All right, really need a prank kid name here. Um, and I, even then it won't do us any good because we still just need the, yeah. Um, Cause we can't special summon and we can't special summon from the extra deck. So unfortunately, actually, you know, True Draco is floodgates and everything like that, so I don't feel too bad. And also, we opened horribly. Um, so there is also that. But we'll keep that in mind. We are currently 5-1. and one. We have four more games to win one more, and uh, hopefully we can hit that. So we'll go ahead and just hop into the next, uh, the next game. Our opponent is going to be letting us go first, so hopefully we can have... Uh, we can bounce back from that. From the true Draco one, it always feels super nice to be floodgated out of the game. Oh my lord, what is this hand? If they have Ash, this is going to be really, really disappointing. So we'll go ahead and just go Lamp Season. Um, they do have the Maxi. That's okay. We'll go ahead and just Ash this. So we can get into something or another. That'll be okay. Just the Prank Kids plays, I suppose. Um... Yeah. We'll special summon out the Roxies because I want the extra draw real quick just to see if we can get anything else before we commit to our Prank Kids line fully. Now chain one and chain two. Dodo can get us ranks and then the Roxies. Let's go ahead and banish one of the Max C for Water Enchantress. Nice. Um, and then let's go ahead and continue on. We'll go ahead and get Fanzies out. Fanzies and the Doodle Do into the second copy of Doodle Do. Go for Fanzies. Dump the Pandemonium. And then special summon out. Let's go for dropsies. From here, we can just go for bow wow barks, and that'll be good. We can 
get dropsies to add us a thousand life points as then we can get out let's just say let's just go for the lampsies that sounds good go ahead and activate the pranks and then we can go for our water enchantress um, we'll go for right to get our token the fateful adventure now we can go fateful adventure to get our griffin rider and we have to discard here unfortunately um we'll go uh, discard maxi Fate, uh, activate the effect of the fateful adventure and we can equip the draco back And we'll just set one there, and I think that's all we can do. And I'm pretty sure I messed up the Prank Kids line, unfortunately. Uh, but we'll activate Pranks here, and we'll shuffle back. Need something or another here. Hopefully we can get another name, because we need it to go into Battle Butler. Unfortunately, we can't get it. That is totally fine. And this deck is starting to wear on me. And a little bit tired, but we only have, what, four four games left? And if we can get that one, then we'll be okay. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being, but it should be okay. Um, we're going to get the Pandemonium as well as, let's go for Dropsies. All right, and we're getting our Dropsies as well as the Pandemonium. Yeah, I still haven't figured out these prank kids lines. So we're sitting on basically two negates right now, the Wandering Griffin Rider and the Nevermind. We are going to be Lava Golemed. <laughs> oh, man, that sucks. That's okay, though. Oh, boy. Terraforming. Please be Magical Meltdown. Alistair me right now. Numeron Network. Dang, that really sucks. <laughs> I think we're about to get Numeron OTK'd, unfortunately. All right, we have an imperm. I can't do the math off the top of my head, but we'll see what happens. All right, they're gonna destroy and then gonna be gaining. So that's gonna be 2K. 2K is gonna crash with our token. And that'll boost him up to 4K. And then 4K will probably attempt to get over. That's fine. You know what, that's that's fine. It can get in there for 5K. We're not dead, so this is fine. And unless they have, they'll probably just go into a Megaclops here. Go for Link 4? Oh, Avermax, okay. That's fine. Um. So it can't be targeted by Drake. That's a good word. That's a good play around. Honestly, it's definitely not too bad. Um, Foolish Burial. That's fine. Um, let's go. Hmm. Could go for DPE. Also. Hmm. I think what we're gonna do here, we'll go for the, uh, we'll go for Draco back and just clear up the back row because we can't target the Crusadia Avermax and hopefully this is something that I'll have to, that we'll force out right now. Called by, okay, let's see. I mean, they can't really get rid of anything. It's not the biggest deal. And from here, we'll just go for um, the our prank kids line. Let's go for doodle do. See, let's go for that other draw. How about it? Use the effect of rock to get us an extra draw. So we'll banish the foolish burial. Get us a draw. Nemesis corridor, awesome. And we will special summon. Let's see. I think we want the other fanzies. That's right. So we're going to get the other fanzies, and then we will go for... 
We'll use this effect and we will grab a Lampsies as well as the Dropsies. And from there, what we can do and what we will do is we are going to go for place. Let's go for Nemesis Corridor. Um, let's return the Meow Meow for follow up. There we go. And then we can get the Thunder Dragon Colossus. Ooh, that's not bad. Um, honestly, no, we need the fansies, so let's not do that. Let's not make a, let's not make another awful decision here. Yeah, we'll go for the Colossus. Pranks and discard one of the Dropsies for defense here. And then I think go for Pandemonium. We're going to go for Battle Butler. Gonna get all these guys out. Go for the Battle Butler. Yeah, so we'll just go. Uh, we'll go Battle Butler now, and then I'm pretty sure this is just game, if I'm not mistaken. Send a graveyard by an opponent's card. You can shuffle one card from the. F uh, they're probably gonna do the Colossus, unfortunately. Well, that sucks. Um, definitely not what I wanted to see there, but we are able to uh, put them on a clock now. Ah, shoot. I've totally forgot about that other effect. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we'll just go for battle here. Yeah, shoot. I totally forgot about that last effect. I was so worried about the... Um, I was really worried about the the like the non-targeting effect. I completely forgot about the that that secondary effect and it bounced to Colossus. That really sucks because I think that's probably going to be the end of the game after that. Yeah, that that hurts pretty bad. Yep, they're going to activate the calling. And yeah, this will uh this will probably just be the end of the game here. All right. Nothing like a casual 20k to the face, you know, nothing, uh, <laughs> nothing awful, nothing off about that at all. So yeah, I guess there's that. We have three more games to get one win. Water Enchantress pranks to Imperm. This should be pretty good. So we'll go for Water Enchantress first. Oh boy. Uh, get Aramisir, our token. Place Fateful Adventure. Effects of the Fateful Adventure. Gonna get us the discard. Draco back. Draco back effects. Equip it on here. There we go. Then we go for Rider. There we go. And just like that, an Omni Negate. Nothing super overpowered about that or anything. Dropsies, get fansies. Chain one, chain two. Out of place. Fansies can send pandemonium. Effect of the lamp seas. Go for bow wow bark. Just banish one of this, one of these infinite impermanents, and draw another water enchantress. Seems like we're always drawing the goddamn water enchantress. It's okay though. Um, we we'll just get out fansies, the imperm, and we'll probably just be good for good for next turn but yeah we'll activate pranks and hopefully we can draw a hand trap we'll get one two and uh and we drew the ash we drew the ash nice so uh, things are looking pretty good here um even if they have like a kaiju or something to get over our stuff it's uh it's okay so we're sitting on an omni negate infinite impermanence ash blossom and then a way to make battle butler so looking pretty good lilith lady of lament um Okay, so we'll just go Bow Wow here. 
Yeah, there we go. So we're going to get the Pandemonium and the Dropsies. This will be good for Battle Butler next turn. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to Griffin Rider here. We can't affect that one and the lament shenanigans I am not on board for here and we still have two 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 interruptions in um, ash and imperm and then we're set up very nicely for next turn all right so special summoning out this dude um, interesting well I don't even know what their field spell does um, so honestly just ash here Yeah, they're just going to go to battle phase, get over the Bow Wow. That's okay. Um, we're looking real good for this turn. don't even know what this does. If a dark monster you control is tributed, you can tribute one dark monster, your opponent. Oh, interesting. Okay. Whatever. Just going through the motions here. Lord, that's fine. Reveal Lord set two. That is fine by me. Okay. So, we have a lot of options here, and what we are going to do, I think, um, first things first, let's get our Draco back. Or not the Draco back, the, uh, the Griffin Rider. Let's, um, let's get that. Chaining Lilith. Yeah, we'll go Pandemonium now. Nice. Battle Butler is out. And Ice Dragon's Prison. Okay. Um, hopefully not, but... And we have just a ton of effects to activate here. Fanzies and Dropsies. Bolus. And that'll do it. Excellent. Very happy that we were finally able to get our sixth win. So we have two more matches or two more games to play. And um, yeah, we'll just get into those now. Everything's looking pretty good here. Um, and this hand is, is looking good as well. So we'll go Lampsies, Normal Summon, and yeah, we'll go Lampsies, and yeah, Roxies and Meow. All right, add Pranks, and Roxies, banish one of these Fusion Destiny to add Draco back. That doesn't really do anything for us at the moment, which is fine. Go for Dodo. Fanzies. Send Pandemonium. Go Doodle Do. I'm going to try something a little bit different here. So I'm going to add back the Pandemonium as well as the, um, the Fanzies. And then we can go for pranks after that. Um, we can discard the fanzies. Got the prank kids token. And now we can go for Bow Wow Bark. And I think this is a way that we can get a battle butler out on our opponent's turn. Set the pandemonium. We'll set the called by the grave. And then we can activate fusion destiny. Another Ash. That's okay. Um, but yeah, looking pretty good here. But yeah, we'll get Water Enchantress. That's fine. Um, uh, you know what? We'll... This is definitely our Ash here. All right. Awesome. Um, and we'll go for Bow Wow. Um, and we want the Dropsies as well as the Lampsies. If you hear my dogs in the background, sorry about that. 
Not a whole lot that I can do about that. I hope you understand. We're almost on an inspector border. Um, and I have no freaking idea how inspector border works. I'm pretty sure that this is just stun, right? I just know it's stun. Um, I'm pretty sure that I can still... I'm pretty sure that I can still activate DPE if I wanted to. Let's go for DPE here. Eldlich, huh? Not, uh, definitely wasn't a bad hit there. Oh, wait, hold on. What happened to... Oh, I see. Okay. Okay. That's, um, that's fine. You know what? Yeah, we can do, we'll get, we'll go for Dasher here. Special summon out the, the Griffin Rider. Here we go. We'll go for Pandemonium here. Judgment. Okay. Honestly, um, I think that that's okay. Go for uh, pranks here for a token, and then we can equip Draco back on the token. This is a cool little interaction. So now we can go Draco back um, and return the inspector border. Awesome, that's good. Two, four, I believe that that's just game. However, I would like to ensure this so we're gonna go for unicorn just to spin that last card just to make sure that it isn't something that we will not need and awesome yes that is what they will end up doing nice seven wins down one match left and that is it we got this okay yeah this is a fantastic opening hand um we have called by for everything we need basically so let's just go ahead and get started here gonna go lamp sees yeah maxi that's awesome all right lamp sees gonna go into the meow meow you doodle do now yeah we'll go place and we'll go lamp sees then we can go for place now and we can add a copy of, I think I'm starting to get the hang of things towards the end after, you know, the repetition of everything. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Um, we'll go pranks we can discard uh, the, uh, the fanzies to get ourselves that token. Awesome. And they do have the Nibiru. Honestly, that's okay. Um, specifically because um, we literally have uh, Water Enchantress as well as the Fusion Destiny. So we'll be completely fine here. Yeah, they're going to go for Nibiru. All right, so... Yeah, um, definitely not the worst thing in the world here. Um, definitely would have been nice if we were able to pull that off, but considering where we're at right now, it's completely fine. We did get the Water Enchantress off of the Roxies, so we'll be able to go for our Adventure Line, which will be nice. And then we can go Draco back. Um, and then after that, we just, you know, Fusion Destiny. The DPE on the Nibiru. Ah, Imperm. Would have been nice. All right, let's see what our opponent can do against an Omni Negate and uh, DPE Pop as well as Max C. Infinite Impermanence on the Griffin Rider, I assume. Oh, on the DPE, okay. Yeah, we'll go DPE and destroy itself as well as just the, the Imperm. Get it into the grave. Stratos, nice. Yeah, I feel like we, I feel like we go for Griffin Rider here on the Stratos. Use their normal summon. Negate that as well. Going against heroes for the last game is pretty fun. 
Um, hopefully they will have nothing else, but we do have max C if in case they do, and hopefully we can draw into an Ash. So now will be the perfect time to max C. Oh, they want our DPE. Okay. All right, so Max C needs to put in a little bit of work here. We'll see. In our DPE Nemesis Corridor, nice. And they'll just get over the Nibiru token and then probably clear up the Adventure token, I would assume. Is it Battle that this is protected by? All right, that's fine. Excellent. Oh, Nemesis Corridor now. Shuffle back the Enchantress. And this is 51. So we need a little bit more here. So, um, we'll go for add the Water Enchantress just so we can get our adventure token back. There we go. And then I think two, four, six. Uh, 71 and then just normal summon Lampsies go to battle and this is game nice adventure token get in for 2 DPE get in for 25 And Prank Kids Lampsies getting in for game. Oh my goodness. After almost a four hour recording session, we got through 10 legitimate games in ranked with a deck that I have never played once a day in my life. This game. <laughs> Oh man, I really enjoyed the challenge of it. Um, this, uh, I, I, you know, I piloted the deck horribly, um, but I hope that you have enjoyed this first episode. Let me know what you think can be improved about it. Um, if you would like to see more, uh, more games or less games, or just get more straight to the point, do you prefer the live commentary or would you prefer me talking over like replays, um, and stuff like that to make things go a little bit, a little bit quicker. Any feedback from you is absolutely welcome. And I would love to hear from you guys, but Thank you guys so much for watching this first episode of whatever the hell I decide to name this series. I had a ton of fun. I can't wait to hear what your guys' thoughts and opinions are about this um, because it's definitely uh, definitely a weird one, but I'm uh, definitely looking to add some more content to, to my roster on the channel. But until next time, I have been Spell Slinger. Thank you so much for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you are new, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great day.